The scene is set in the ventral domain of Zagotti Park, where two old Zimizi, one old clan, one main clan, are playing chess. Good to meet in somewhere we can speak freely, cousin. Mm, indeed. It's nice to have some proper opposition for the chess game by Trench. Nicholas this time looks like a man in his mid-thirties, a bit of graying hair. Um, he's dressed pretty simply in um, work pants and a button-up shirt and a white lab coat as he sits across from his cousin. Mm. Luther, on the other hand, appears to be dressed in a very old set of chainmail armor with uh, high quality clothing beneath it. Uh, he actually has even a sword uh, by his side. Uh, his uh, facial features are similar to those often seen, however, his hair is much longer, and the beard a bit more unkempt. So, what do you think of our uh, cardinal? Um, I believe he's strong, though a bit eager to encourage the Valdry. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess he is a little sombra automatically assumes everyone is out to backstab everyone. Not a bad philosophy. Hmm. Yeah, it does tend to be correct most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> they developed fortitude for a reason. Ah, that's the ventrue. Ventrue developed... Ventru developed the fortitude to resist being backstabbed while our uh, esteemed Lozumbra colleagues uh, developed potence to make the backstab stick ever so much ah. more. <laughs> I take it you're very familiar with the Ventru. Oh, I think... Uh, Shoot the word that what would let us love us in the city, you'll see the Ventru start running around looking for me. Vladislav. Hmm. Have I heard that name? One, two successes. Common knowledge for you, I'd suggest. Common, common. I might have heard a little bit about your line. Weren't they removed long, long ago? There are no living uh, uh, people of my lineage. There might be a few others besides me who are uh, survived that particular event in the history, however, one way or another. Well, shows your tenacity in the least. Mm. Nothing quite proves you're right than being alive, while those who said you were wrong are dead. <laughs> Agreed. Oh... It's unfortunate that the Ventru have the Wall Street. It would have been a nice place to stage from, but... Well, they're not guaranteed to have it forever. No, but it's such a... It holds even more prestige than real value, and it holds quite a lot of the real value. Hmm. 
Too immediate target to my personal liking for a domain. Well, I would much rather the Ventru or none of us have it than the Ventru have it. Well, if you can make it go up in flames. Uh, that would be a bit difficult. Well, the Giovanni might be motivated to make a game for it. They're independent. And by treaty required to, in general, stay out of our sectarian disagreements. They might make a decent Cenosox for the Wall Street, I think. Possibly. I've heard they've been dabbling in devouring souls from what the streets say. Hmm. Then again, I've... I'm certain there's somebody in this city with a grudge with the Giovanni as well. Aside from the... <coughs> Sabbath, who had to does have to wonder how the Giovanni managed to maintain their position in the city. Well, they don't have my, many holdings these days, which may turn to our advantage if we wish to try to turn them to our side. Mm, well, I'm quite certain that the Lazumbra will be arguing for the Wall Street at some point. Besides, let's not inter... But it should probably be something very tasty for the Giovanni to dangle in front of their noses. What about the graveyard? Hmm. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, perhaps. Sounds good. I would actually suspect the combined offer would draw the best reaction. No matter which they currently want more, they do want both, probably. Yes, but Giovanni usually have money. I think the graveyard offers a more instantaneous benefit for them. Uh, do you know who currently controls it? I wonder. Um, if anyone controls it, I believe it is an independent or a bloodline, but I might be mistaken. Hmm. Very good. Well, you did say you were planning on looking into it in any case, so... Yes, um... My particular talents may serve a Nagaraja well. The Camarilla won't stand for people showing up with hunks of chit flesh torn out of them on a daily basis. But with my art, it can just be slimmed off the form. A fresh source of fresh material for a small considerations. It will make mm. for a loyal supporter. Indeed. Because if he turns on us, then he must go back to his own methods. Excellent. A very, very good plan. Now it all just whether you can convince them to agree to it. <laughs> Not always as easy as it should be with a proper offer. 
Oh, yes, people think they're worth much more than what they seem. Give this or that or so much more. Oh, well. I was thinking of the... Daughter of Cacophony, I can probably make a well hidden effort to at least sound them out, see what they intend. It would not hurt to have someone like that on our side. If anything, we do need more social savat to turn others to our side. And to even keep the city, once it is properly ours, in a lot more civilized aspect than what I've seen from some of the <coughs> young members of even our own clan. Indeed. Some of them truly managed to be disgraces in my own mind, not even understanding the value of polite manners. Some of the newer clan mates, um, they're quite frankly a disgrace. They don't even honor the tradition of hospitality. Well, that's just not worth the time and effort it would take to correct them, I think. No. Luckily, they're not as numerous as they once were. They all ran off to fight the ivory tower in the war. Good riddance to them. Indeed. Well, perhaps we can manage a slightly higher and more sociable element for our family in this city? I wouldn't be opposed. I mean... Whatever disagreements between the young and the old once upon a time, I think we do all agree on the that without at least some modicum of manners and politeness to our, within, a, within our own family, there really is no much call to claim to be a member of the family. Yes, when you lose your manners, you quite frankly stop being one of the Zimitsi. We are the nobles after all. Hmm. I'll agree with that one. Uh, the Zettites will have to be dealt with. I, I gathered that the Cardinal would like to see them just crushed. Indeed. But that would lead to us practically driving them to the Camarilla. We could, of course, try to get something out of them, a false alliance. Mm. I'm wondering if the Camarilla could be convinced to make moves to take over the some of the set of domains, to throw them out. After all, what are they needed anymore? Indeed. Let the Camarilla do the heavy lifting for us, and let the few set that survive the experience realize that they really should never again assist the Camarilla. After all. Such a remainder would serve well in keeping the city afterwards, I think. 
Yes. What would make the ivory tower want to turn on its now former mercenaries? Well, the satellites are what the satellites are. I'm certain they're up to no good, as far as the Camarilla is concerned. Trying to get some agreements done. Hmm. It'll take some thinking, but it's a. I think it will be a wiser course of action than just seeking to attack them. Yes. Yeah. The idea proposed in the Cardinal's presence was a good idea. This new prince would be a fine pawn for some of our grander schemes. Unfortunately, Pizun is a strong of strong blood and of strong constitution and apparently with some measure of conviction behind his dislike to the Sabbat. So I suspect it will prove to be more of a challenge than just turning some of the others. After all, there is something to be said of numbers over the individual qualities. Indeed. We can always lay the brickwork to get to him. That can be done. So how are we going to integrate more of our members into the Manhattan area? It'll be difficult. Oh, I don't know. I might be able to give the uh, Luther takes a quick look around himself, focusing quite hard, making certain that there are no other entities in close by, and giving Nicholas a steady look as well. Now this stays between the two of us. There might be a florist named Luther, who uh, might end up being the in some manner of influence within the clan Toriano or the Camarilla. Oh. Now, if uh, the eldest of that clan happens to provide certain information and suggestions on how that clan should act, they're likely to take that advice. If it seems to at least to be a modicum of wisdom. And sure. combining the talents of the two of us, we could perhaps recognize a few of the Toreador neonates that are known in this city and replace them with some of the up and coming promising individuals who have just recently been embraced. I like it. We shall make them act, believe and breathe being Toreador until such time as I decide that it's time for them to know their proper lineage. I can certainly help with the uh, replacement. And I'm certain we can come up with some... Uh, do we wish to use the existing ones, or would we just be wiser to get rid of them? 
Oh, I'm sure we could make use of the existing ones. Um, a nice stake in the heart and placed on a table in a basement somewhere. And then we follow our dear cardinal's advice and enforce the Valdry. <laughs> and of so course, that one would only go one way. Of course. And suddenly we would have Vimis and Toridor on the tree. Indeed. Right at the heart of Cameroon. I like this uh, notion. The only reservation I have for it is the actual establishing of the fact and to make certain that none with the high enough auspics of the Toreador get the opportunity of uh, alerting anyone despite any wooden objections. Well, I believe those with the highest auspects should go first. Indeed. Or perhaps last, depending entirely on Opportunities presented and the way it's handled. It will take some time to get to know the clan itself. Mm -hmm. I myself have been working on a bit of a disguise should I need to make myself known as a Toreador. Indeed. I, as you have seen already, can wear multiple faces. With my own all specs, I can easily substitute myself as a Toreador. Indeed, this is true. And actually, the old florist, knowing a Toreador who has not been seen, Could perhaps be a very acceptable explanation why a there is a Toreador to be found in the Manhattan that few people knew of. Just hiding out from the battle. Just hiding out from the Sabbath in general. I mean, not all Toreador are going to be out and about on the battlefield, that's all. It would be very unreasonable for everyone to assume they all are interested in throwing their lives away when they can hide. Everyone has a role, and not all those roles pertain to the battlefield. Precisely. So, if... Luther brings up the notion that he might know of another Toreador. I think the clan itself might actually jump at the opportunity. Yes, they get to increase their numbers. Or so they think. And we get away in the front door. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, there is a personal idea of mine that's not necessarily here or there, but... Is it this true that what I have been recently hearing of the Gangrel, leaving the Camarilla proper? Um, it tends to vary from... Gangrel the Gangrel. Some still consider themselves members of the Ivory Tower. Some have taken the opportunity to escape while they can. To enjoy their freedom. I think Sabbath is well uh, known for supporting freedom for all its members. Oh, yes. Besides, I would imagine that the Gangrel and the Zimi Z 
this point any offshoot? Can all agree on one thing? The Tremere need to go away. The Tremere do need to go away. Permanently. So perhaps uh, a careful look at the gang rail to see if there are any personal contacts to be made. Speaking of the Tremere, I've heard there's a salubri in the city. If there is one in the city, they are probably hiding even better than us. That would be a very easy member to turn to the Sabbat. After all, did the Ivory Tower not turn them away in their time of need? Well, the best they can hope for is the independence until some Tremere manages to murder them. And even as an independent, they are more likely to assist us against the Tremere than anything else. Indeed. And after all, the Tremere are Camarilla. Wholeheartedly. Actually, a worthy point to make to any gang rel as well. Stress that our uh, disagreements were more with the Ventral and the Tremere, and they unfortunately ended up on um, the middle, despite what our preferences would have been. Indeed. I'll have to give that uh, some thought and perhaps even movement of mind to see if I can find a few individuals to discuss this with. I heard a rumor that there might be La Sombra and the Tribu in the city. Sombra and the Tribu. Well. That can't be allowed. I'm thinking we should keep that in mind for the now. And when we need the Cardinal to be focused on something very specific, we have something that Cardinal will likely be very focused on. Oh yes, the La Sombra believe in one sect and one alone wholeheartedly. So, uh, for the moment, if the Cardinal is unaware, let him stay unaware. That is a piece of information that can be used for the benefit of uh, our family when the time comes to Move the good cardinal's focus from something to other. Very good. Besides, we don't want the cardinal currently getting all focused on the Los on the tribute issue. The camera yeah, has much. should be a greater concern. Ah, did you hear? There is something very strange about the Bronx area, from what I gather. And what would that be? It's always been a rather bleak place to go. No, it's not something specific. A Toreador, I believe, mentioned that it was a very, very strange area. They felt observed and quite certain that they would have known if it was one of the Nosferatu observing. Hmm. 
perhaps we should send an eye through. We tend to be a bit more perceptive than the Toreador. I would actually suggest we encourage Camarilla to comb the Bronx with uh, as much force and interest as possible. That would be a good diversion from their little witch hunt that they're having at the moment. It would, wouldn't it? Actually, now this is something I would think would be specifically for your talent. Should we find uh, something, someone else's domain close by the that Bronx area? Independence or something uh, even better, a Camarilla clan. And from that direction came roaring a pack of uh, flesh crafted ghouls breaking masquerade left, right, and center. Yes, and appearing to be guarding one specific location. Appearing to push away from the one specific area on the map. That could definitely be arranged. All I need is the raw materials, of course. And we will want to keep that preparations for it going, but not actually do it just yet. Because we want to use the northern aspect of the city before uh, attention gets turned there. I believe we might want to invest in buying a warehouse in which to store our little pets. Now, buying is such a crude way of going about it. Obtaining. Let us obtain ourselves a man who owns a warehouse. Well, you obtain the man, and I'll fill it. That sounds a very agreeable agreement. I'll see if there's something in the area itself that can be used for the purpose. I might actually convince the... Well, we'll see what kind of memories I can implant into that mind that will draw even further camera attention. Actually, if we can get the Tremere to drag themselves out of their chantries into that area. But well, before that happens, we need to have a chat with the Gangrel as well. Indeed. I do not think we should do it alone, though, in case there are a few loyalists. Though, you have a remarkable way of going places. Oh, I was invited. Uh, uh, the Torito Hoppy was... For a moment, the Florist Luther comes out and goes, the Hoppy was uh, once needed uh, some uh, bouquets for me, and we met that way. And Of course, my heart is hmm. convince him that he was dealing with a fellow rose. <laughs> I cannot see where this feud started. Our abilities mesh so well together. Oh, I suspect there's a question of pride or precedence somewhere in there. True. We do have the habit of... Uh, 
taking such issues to a very final conclusion when the opportunity presents itself. We are stubborn. <laughs> we take root and we don't let go. Hmm. Speaking of taking root, let us assume for the moment that we succeed in absolute and totally convincing victory of routing this, uh, the Camarilla out to the greater uh, amazement of some of the Zabat even. Where would you like to put your roots in? Hmm. Well, my experiments have always been the most important to me. I do not mind being a bishop so long as it doesn't interfere with my work. So, a place where I can easily gather my materials and keep an eye on things. Perhaps some of the hospitals? That would be interesting. A bit of blood to someone who is reported dead. It actually presents a very good opportunity to pursue war effort as well. I haven't been an official doctor in decades. Well, perhaps it's time for a refreshing course. <laughs> the paperwork can be arranged if you're so inclined. Oh, I'm sure I am. And I never let my skills get dull. That would be horribly neglectful of me. Indeed. I myself have this vision, if you will, of a proper Lanzimis Demesne of New York City. Mm. Where, of course, there's about rules, but where also a voivode rules. And where the niceties our family is accustomed to are upheld. Excellent. Finally bring order to this rabble of a city. It seems to be in dire need of some direction. How fortunate then that there are some of the family here to provide it. Indeed, and with the right tools in which to do it. It's a uh, most nice to have this discussion with you, good cousin. I, Indeed. I actually think that uh, two of us can find a personal ground on which to work together and build, so that our both can fulfill our own ambitions as far as the city goes. Indeed. And while I accept that you will not partake of my blood, I understand the your side of the argument. Let us at least have a handshake. Entirely acceptable for myself. Well, it was a good game of chess. Indeed. We shall have to take uh, opportunities such as these to play more often. Yes, it's finally nice to have someone who can actually fight back.
Thank you for your turn, cousin. I shall have to go and see if the Toreador are uh, amenable to my views. Very well. I will keep in touch. As will I, I'm certain. The presence of uh, well, Ladislo in short order vanishes from the sight, all trace of him fading from the planner view of Zucchini Park. Nicholas grins for a moment and then he himself fades from the astral plane. <laughs> 